I have gum in my mouth. Okay. So, this is technically our first YouTube video. If you don't count the entire one that I just edited in portrait mode instead of landscape. <laughs> Basically, this morning came up with the idea to create a fashion. Well, YouTube we've been channel. talking about doing it for a really long time, but okay, this yeah, is well, one of the first times that we've actually decided to like plan and follow through. We, with yeah, we capitalized on it today. We've been dating for four years. We're both super into fashion. I'm a model, and Mogan's is an aspiring fashion designer. Mogan's is not a model. <laughs> What we want to do in this channel is just do a lot of fun videos like styling tips, hauls, how to dress for certain things, reviews of other fashion stuff, just kind of, you know, yeah, pretty much just all things related to fashion. We're just going to get right into it. We're not going to give you our whole life story other than that because I know you don't care. Our first video that we're going to do is summer styling fashion tips. <laughs> So what we're trying to address is the fact that it's much harder to dress in the summer. I think that's very widely yeah. known. And that pretty much just stems from the fact that obviously summer, it's hot outside. You're not going to be layering up. It kind of restricts the items that are wearable. Yeah, like, exactly. So if you like don't know fashion and don't know like why it's harder to dress in the summer, to put it really simply, and the winter, you have a lot more items to choose from, like Mogens was saying. Summer, it's like, you know, what I'm wearing right now, just yeah, the jean shorts sure. and tank top. Like, this outfit's fine, but it's hard to do much more than that in the summer. My first main tip that I would say for wash in the summer, it's a pretty simple, really basic one. Like, so much so that y'all are going to think, Wow, literally anyone can do this fashion YouTube channel. I'm gonna tell you and to wear accessories. Extremely basic, so bear with me because it is important enough that I need to say it. The thing is, Whoa. Is, so the thing is, it's a lot easier to make a winter outfit look coordinated because Say you're going for like an earth tone look. You can do like a dark green coat, you no know, dark brown sweater, but the summer you don't have all those pieces to work with. So in order to add them back in and make your outfit look coordinated, you add accessories. So you're adding more pieces, whether it's jewelry, sunglasses, bags, shoes, purses, belts, whatever it is. Unless you're a baller and you have no problem walking out into 95 degree weather yeah where, where we're making this video we do get into arguments sometimes though because mogans will be wearing pants in texas and i'm like you're a idiot like you need sometimes to go you change just gotta tough it out. yeah i'm gonna show you a really easy and why are you <laughs> i'm doing my best <laughs> anyways so first <laughs> Did you not press it? Hot girl best. summer. I'm gonna cut that out. What we're gonna do now, instead of telling you how accessories can transform an outfit, is actually show you. While there's nothing inherently wrong with this outfit, it's just a super simple summer base and it really shows you how little you can have to work with in the summer sometimes. Just a tank top and a pair of denim shorts. Now watch what happens after just 30 seconds in my closet. So basically all that I've done here is add a pair of sunglasses, a few necklaces, a jersey top, and a belt. These are super simple and staple accessories that I bet almost everyone has in their closet. So with just a 30 second outfit change, you can take a boring summer basic outfit and turn it into something that's elevated and chic, yet still relaxed and minimal so you can wear it to almost any summer event or activity with a very effortless cool girl vibe. My first tip kind of follows, okay, it's actually the exact same thing as Em's first tip. 
I think accessories, you know, rings, necklaces, chains, yeah. things that are very important and really tie together and elevate a look. What Mogan's is going to show you is basically guys don't really have as many accessory options because they're considered traditionally feminine. Yeah, um, For this first outfit, I wanted to exemplify something basic that I would wear on a summer day. Since you can never go wrong with black on black, I've decided to throw on a bla black vintage tee, black nylon shorts, and some black shoes. There isn't anything wrong with this outfit, but I think we can make it better. So as you can see, I've kept the same base outfit but taken it to a whole other level by simply adding a few chains, bracelets, and rings. I've also added a pair of black sunglasses and a bandana to act as my statement accessories. I find the bandana to be my favorite part of this outfit because you can wear it in so many different ways and add your own unique and personal touch to any outfit. So number two fashion tip, just because it isn't winter, don't be afraid to throw in traditional winter pieces. What that's gonna do for you is uh, add the more pieces in, like give you the numbers to work with. You're gonna be wearing something that not a lot of other people are gonna be wearing in the summer. It's gonna immediately make you stand out. If you wear it in the winter, like yeah, you can make it look good, but you're not gonna look special or unique. But heads walk out there people look at you and think damn they look good i want to look good like that wearing winter pieces in the summer is something that again can be a little bit tougher you really only have like two things like you have jackets and you have coats and you have pants and that's really it and what but it doesn't think... have to be just jacket or pants i mean it can be docks like boots So the winter piece that I've incorporated into my summer outfit here are these nice lightweight checkered trousers. I've paired it with a cropped muscle tank and some white Fila tennis shoes. By incorporating the pants into an otherwise traditionally summer outfit, I've created a really unique statement piece that doesn't blend in with the crowd and makes this outfit just a little bit more high fashion. I think the key to making pants work in the summer for girls is to pair it with an ultra cropped top. This balances out the otherwise heaviness of the pants and even gives you a cool 90s street style look. So the winter piece that I've incorporated into this outfit are these black Doc Martens boots. I paired them with tan socks, black denim shorts, and a white distressed vintage tee. I think what makes these boots work so well with this outfit is the shorts. Because of the length of the shorts, the proportions of the outfit are kept in line, and this keeps the outfit from looking too heavy or too wintry. I think this outfit could be perfect for anything from going out to hang out with friends to going to music festivals. The traditional winter piece that I've incorporated into this summer outfit is this awesome bright coral blazer. 
I've kept the look summery and breezy by choosing a blazer and a super lightweight material and compiling the look with traditionally bright and fun summer colors. I've also balanced out the heaviness of the piece by once again pairing it with an ultra cropped top. This bright fun blazer is by far the statement piece of this outfit and what makes the look totally unique. The winter piece that I've incorporated into this outfit is this dark green sweater jacket and a very lightweight material. While it is a sweater, I've kept the piece very wearable by pairing it with a lighter color scheme. Because of the loungy feel of this outfit, I think it would be perfect for any summer evening or just going out and hanging with friends. I think this outfit goes to show that even though it's summer, your options aren't as limited as you might think. The third tip, I think, kind of stems from the second. Third tip is going to be wearing traditional pieces in ways that aren't so traditional. A good example of that for girls would be wearing a swimsuit top just as your top. Literally every basic Coachella is already doing that. It's still just, you know, denim shorts and a swimsuit top. I'm talking like actually wear a swimsuit as you're top going out to a fancy dinner. What that's gonna do, it's just gonna separate you. It's gonna be something unique, giving you more options. I yeah. think people realize swimsuits are honestly pretty, pretty yeah. versatile. I'm gonna show you a few outfits with like a swimsuit top as a very nice classy outfit. The traditional summer pieces that I've used in non-traditional ways in this outfit are a leopard print monokini, a gray sparkling shawl, and a silver pearl necklace. I pinned the shawl around my waist to create an open slit sarong and added the silver pearl necklace for some extra embellishment. While the leopard monokini definitely still does give the outfit a super tropical vibe, the way it fits under the sarong gives it more of a bodysuit under a skirt look rather than a going to the beach look. All of the unique ways in which these traditional pieces are used give the outfit a very cultivated and interesting vibe. It's the type of outfit that would definitely turn heads and make people want to take a closer look, making it the perfect outfit for tropical vacations, cruises, or pool parties. The traditional piece that I've used in a non-traditional way in this outfit is this black vintage t-shirt. I cut this shirt down the middle to turn it from a boring old vintage t-shirt into something cool and fun for the summer. I think it's safe to say that everyone has that one t-shirt that they really like but they never really get around to wearing. So with this simple little DIY, I think you can turn that t-shirt into something that you enjoy wearing again. At first glance, this t-shirt just looks like a regular button-up overshirt, but upon closer inspection, the raw edges and vintage feel of the piece make it a non-traditional summer statement that any guy can pull off. traditional summer piece that I've used in a non-traditional way is this leopard print bikini top. Not only have I decided to incorporate a swimsuit into my outfit, I have made it the statement piece. 
This type of outfit is perfect for going out in the summer and the type of outfit I typically wear when I go out with friends in the summer. If an open shirt with just a swimsuit top is a little too much for you or you need to cover a little bit more for wherever you're going, you can also tie the top just below the swimsuit. Personally, I think a swimsuit covers even a little bit more than a bralette and it makes your outfit more unique. This outfit is the perfect example of how reinventing pieces can add so much versatility to your summer wardrobe and that swimsuits are the lesser known essential summer layering. Fourth tip is going to be layering. We are back at it with the rudimentary fashion tips. Yeah, they're pretty basic. No, but we're doing them interestingly. Yeah. Well, and I think there are things that need to be said because I think there are things that Buzz are open, word. but you it's know? something that people don't really realize. It's kind of like one of those buzzwords. Of, oh, I'm eating chia seed as a superfood. Oh, I'm layering this season. Most people don't know what the f*** it actually is or like what it means. So the trick is to layer in the summer without sweating your balls off. Start your layer as small as possible. Do base layer. Yeah, this could be like a base layer, but for the summer, I would probably even start off with a layer like even smaller than this. Good base layer examples for girls could be crop tops, swimsuit tops, bralettes, anything as tiny as you can get. Slowly build up from there because that way your second layer can be a tank top instead of your first layer. I think it could honestly go the same way with men. And yeah, most of these tips are pretty universal. Yeah, I think we kind of went into this thinking that we were going to have different tips. We realized that they're all the same. And you could throw on a tank top, like a camp collar shirt on top of that. Just a plain button up on top of that. But basically, in short, I think layering for men is something that's also very doable and very helpful in the summer. Outfit because I kept my base layer so small, just a simple black bralette, I've managed to do three layers on top while keeping the outfit totally sleeveless. This style of layering gives your summer outfit a ton of dimension and colors to work with without being super hot and uncomfortable. I've also incorporated some of our other tips into this outfit, like adding winter pieces or accessorizing, just to give it a little extra flair. However, if it is super hot outside, or you just don't feel like wearing that many pieces, you can always take out one of the layers of this type of outfit, and it will still have enough dimension to give it a layered look. summer being the hottest part of the year, I think it's important to have outfits in your rotation that not only look good, but are comfortable too. So for that reason, one of my go-to looks in the summer consists of a monochromatic base layered with a colorful overshirt to provide a pop of color. This outfit is simple and comfortable, but also has hints of elegance in it too. And for that reason, I think it's safe to say that layering is one of the most simple yet effective tools that you can use to enhance your summer outfits. Our fifth and final tip is matching sets. Anytime that you have a matching set, it's gonna just look more expensive because you have to buy the top and the bottoms together. I don't know what it is, but every time I see a matching set, it just looks really elevated to me and it looks very cohesive. You got the put togetherness down right but the plot twist here is that you do not need to buy a matching set. If you don't have it in your closet, then you can pretty much just go to any thrift store. You know, good yeah, luck. Yeah, ex exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Dude, it's not. I'd like to say that whenever you talk, you talk for like seven minutes. I talk for like 30 seconds. I, I like keep a dialogue and banter going and not have it just, I monologue, no you monologue. I monologue, no you monologue. You <laughs>
Go to Google, go to Salvation Army, go to Thrift Shops, buy <laughs> matching sets there. So for this first matching set, I've decided to go with simple white on white, pairing a white button-up tank with white mom shorts and adding in a black belt to cinch the waist and break up the color. Another optional piece I've added to this outfit is this white button-up overshirt, just to add another element that goes with the whole matching set look. I've also added in these fun red ankle booties to give an otherwise colorless outfit a little bit of flair. I've created this outfit with just three basics from my closet, but when all the matching pieces are put together, it makes it look like something off of a mannequin. So for this matching set, I decided to go for a white linen button-up shirt and a white pair of straight fit pants. I also went ahead and threw on a brown undershirt, black boots, a black belt, and my other normal accessories. On their own, neither of these pieces really make a statement, but when put together, they create an outfit that is very bold and timeless. I think this look is very fun and is perfect for any semi-formal event or something you just want to look extra nice for. For this next matching set, I've decided to go with another classic, denim on denim. This time, however, I've decided to add the graphic tee as an extra non-matching main piece. The amount of denim in the shorts and the button-up shirt is still enough to give it an overall cohesive and matching look. The denim on denim also helps the graphic tee pop really well, so you can take an outfit like this and customize it by whatever graphic tee or undershirt you choose to pair with it. Like Emma, I've also gone for a denim on denim matching set. As simple and classic as it is, it's something that you can never go wrong with and looks good on everyone. To add my own personal touch to this outfit, I've added a brown undershirt, white socks, and a black pair of penny loafers. Another fun addition to this outfit are the glasses and the necklace. This look is the perfect blend between casual and elevated, which gives it a lot of versatility in the summer. to summarize this whole thing. As much as we joke around, I feel like these tips are really, really useful. They're really simple and easy things you can, like you have to be a fashion guru to use these tips. That's like everyday stuff I use in my style. I really notice the difference when I just put an extra 30 seconds into like throwing a necklace on. These aren't even like fits that are meant to you know, go out to a fancy date or a yacht kind of like club, summer which casual. we're not a part of anymore. They're good tips, fit ideas to have for if you're just going to class well, yeah. and you know, if you're going out to lunch and you want to look good. Realistically, just for everyday life. Because if you're dressing up super fancy, you probably already have like one big statement piece. So you don't need to add a whole lot. The reason that I kind of wanted to make this video is, get me wrong, tank top and shorts outfit like this, I love that. I'm not snubbing that in any way. I just remember last summer there was a moment where 
woke up and I was like, wow, I have worn this for 17 days in a row. It's kind of how I got out of my style rut, so to say. And just to kind of show that you can look good in the summer and you can feel confident in the summer in what you're wearing. Yeah, so that's kind of that on that. We're the couple's closet because we couldn't think of a better name, really. So we're the couple's closet. That's us. Is this where we end it? Should we curse? I didn't realize it was.